Hey, good morning. Uh, Marlon here with Amish Country Insider. I am in the kitchen of Mrs. Yoder's Kitchen in Mount Hope, Ohio, and I'm standing here with Robert. Uh, he he kind of runs this show back here, and we are just going to have a quick conversation as he's doing the chicken. Uh, Robert, tell us a little bit about the history of Mrs. Yoder's Kitchen and all the things that you guys have going on back here. So the history of Mrs. Yoder's Kitchen is was opened in 1994. Okay. So we've been here for 29 years. 29 years. 29 years. We are a family owned and operated business. Yep. Uh, we do, we serve a lot of people with buffet or menu mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And we serve a lot of chicken. That is our number one item. That's your own number one number item. One That's item. what you're doing right That's here. That's what we're doing right here. So we, we buy a whole eight piece chicken cut that a family marinates it for us. Mm -hmm. And then we trim the chicken and we keep all the trimmings and we cook our own chicken stock with it. And then wow. the rest of the chicken is just gets breaded like this and then pressure fried for 11 and a half minutes. Okay. And then wow. I'll put this down for you. So tell us a little bit about the quality of the other food that you guys are are making every day. Well, we do a lot of we do a lot of stuff from scratch. We cook all our gravies from scratch. We cook mm -hmm. all our pot roast beef is cooked down for 12 hours every night. Yeah, uh, wow. we cut our own beef. We actually raise some of our own beef on my farm that we use in here. Really? So, we make hamburger with it. We make meatloaf, we make meatballs. Yeah. And I it's didn't know that. and it's Angus beef. Mhm. Mm um, yep. And then soups, all that stuff is cooked from scratch, which is, yeah. which is not the norm right. anymore. Yeah. If, if I remember right, Robert, you told me a while ago that you guys make all your own pie dough, your, your, your crusts, you yeah. do it all. So our pie dough is made from scratch mm -hmm. and it's hand rolled, as you can see there. It's not machine rolled. And then we put it in the pan and they prick it with their hands and everything and then we make cook all our own fillings from scratch, mm -hmm. and then they get baked. So Judy, how long have you been doing this? Well, my second year here. Okay. She's not mic'd up, but that's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> So that's how a pie crust is made at Mrs. Yoder's. That is a beautiful thing. <laughs> that is a cherry pie. That's a blackberry pie. That's a grape pie. <laughs> That is a way of marking our pies so we know which is which. Mm -hmm. Well, I so. will vouch for what he's talking about. The food here is absolutely stellar. Uh, so we're gonna jump into a couple more things here in a second. I gotta get another tray. Thank you. 
chicken gets fried at 11 and a half minutes under pressure. So we also fry boneless chicken breasts and thighs okay. for special events, orders, reunions, churches, they all order it, stuff mm -hmm. like that. That's what this is. So this gets seasoned a day or two ahead and it gets hand breaded and it gets pan fried, kind of like pan fried on a flat top mm -hmm. grill. Okay. So that's the that's the pressure cooker on the chicken. That's the pressure cooker, pressure cooking. Yep. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about a few uh, good Amish words for food. Yeah. Some of the best words for food in in Dutch would be hingelfleisch. Hingelfleisch is chicken. Mush would be mashed potatoes. Yeah, we call it grumbatter mush. Grumbatter mush. That means that's right. That's mashed potatoes. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, noodle. Noodle. That's a, yep. always a good one. Yep. Noodles. Yep. So we serve a buffet okay. every day from 11 to 7. Okay. And the chicken, the pot roast beef, mashed potatoes, noodles gravies, casseroles, and vegetables. And during the season, we buy all our fresh vegetables out the road at the local produce auction. Okay. That's in season. Now that season is coming to an end, then we have to fill in with other vegetables. Right, but, yeah. Right. So that's and always a big deal. And then you also buy fresh fish every uh, during, am I, am I thinking? No, not fresh. No. We, we buy fish, but Okay. Uh, we serve fish on the buffet. Uh, we serve a, an Atlantic cod. Okay. What we serve on the buffet Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay. And we do special features like on the buffet, like meatloaf, um, ham loaf bites is a big thing that we do here. We take ham and grind it up, add some pork, and we make ham loaf bites. Mm -hmm. Barbecued ribs get served on Fridays on the buffet. Okay. So it's letting the pressure out now. It's releasing the pressure, and it will re the pressure has to go all the way down before it'll allow me to open up. To open it up. Yeah, and then I'll there open it up, go. pull it out on the tray. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait. Look at that. Golden and delicious. Beautiful. That's Mrs. Yoder's fried chicken. So this is boneless fried chicken. It gets kind of like pan fried, browned, gets put in a pan gets a layer of gravy on top and gets baked for another 40 minutes. Okay. Sometimes you will find this on the buffet, but not very often. It's mostly for special events. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you that that chicken is my favorite that you guys make. Okay. Well, guys, thanks a ton for being with us today. Uh, I want to say thank you to Robert and his whole team uh, for inviting us back into the kitchen. And the next time that you guys are in Mount Hope, make sure to swing by and taste the, uh, the wonderful goodness that they make from scratch. Thanks a bunch, guys.